what's going on guys Merrick's here bringing you another video this one is gonna fall into the tips tricks uh, guide section uh, we're gonna bring you a strap guide the goal here is to help you take your WWE champions game to the next level um, whether you like it or not straps are here to stay so unless you want to get left behind you definitely need to use them so hopefully some of this stuff will help you guys and maybe make it a little easier um, help you from making some mistakes that I've made uh, so let's let's get into it I think one of the biggest complaints I get or hear is that uh, straps are really hard to manage it takes a lot of time etc etc so let's I want to cover and make sure everyone knows that you can sell them in bulk so once you click on a strap and you click the sell button you can see we have one selected we'll get 700 parts for selling an epic if you click on a second one third fourth you can sell them all at once so no limit to how many you can sell so that can help speed that process up just be very very careful you don't sell a strap you want to keep or you'll have a bad day um, so that can help with that um, while we're talking about it on the inventory management level you can uh, pay for cash to unlock more uh, strap slots you can see I have kind of an absurd amount unlocked and it's still not enough um, I hate the fact that it costs money uh, or currency or cash whatever you want to call it to have inventory space that is a bummer but that's the way it is um, I definitely recommend getting yourself some extra space so uh, you can make it a little easier to manage your your inventory um, let's get into the so when you look at a strap you can kind of visually tell what class and era it is this is the modern logo so it's going to be for a modern acrobat if you if you drill into it click into it it'll tell you again it's modern era men's division acrobat they have to be at least three star to equip it um, so this one is going to be an attitude era striker so you can see we have the attitude era logo and the striker plate on the side and this one is actually for women I don't know if this part right here if you can actually tell if it's a female or not um, my eyesight's not that good and I don't know if they differentiate that way or not so sometimes you have to drill in and check for that but that's kind of a quick visual how you can uh, check for them if you look in my inventory you'll see I only have legendaries and epics um, that's because in my opinion they're the only ones worth keeping uh, commons uncommons rares sell them all for the strap bits um, and the reason for that is they're expensive to unlock and they're expensive to remove so it, it costs uh, 1.2k parts to remove a rare 8k to remove an epic or a legendary so you also don't want to put a strap on a guy unless you're sure you want to do it because it's expensive to remove them um, so if you put a rare on someone and I made this mistake we can go here and see I put one on edge so because that's the only one I could get <clears throat> to remove it would cost 1.2 K and uh, it doesn't sell for that much so I'll take a loss in in parts for that plus the best I can ever do is one set bonus uh, and you have to you have to pay parts to unlock the the extra slots so that's kind of a kind of a big waste so don't be like me don't equip rares uh, sell them wait for a epic or legendary to come along um, so from there um, you should also probably unlock them so you can get set bonuses meaning the first um, the first one you unlock automatically will give you a two set bonus um, so you can equip two g metals and you'll get a bonus for them in this case it's armor defense on my Bailey here 
Uh, we'll cover metals in another guide, so I'm not really going to get in depth on them. But um, the first one you unlock allows you to get a two set. The next one you unlock really gives you nothing other than you can put a new metal in the slot, so it's not quite as valuable. So I find it's better to not unlock the third and fourth slot until you have enough parts to do them both. Uh, the main reason for that is you might decide to go a different route with a different character and uh, you'll have those extra parts available for them. So um, as long as we're talking about uh, this kind of thing, the first unlock, let's go to back to metals here. Um, The first unlock to open one up is going to cost you 1500 So to open and have a two slot will cost you 1500 The next one to have three, it will cost you 3000 And the, the third one to give you um, four slots open will cost 12000 So on an Epic that has uh, four slots available to it, you will um, have to pay 16,500 strap parts to fully unlock an epic. Now the legendaries have an extra slot because of the skill plate. The skill plate can open with the first unlock, the last unlock, or anywhere in between. Um, because they have an extra slot to fully unlock one costs uh, 40,500 total because that last slot is 24,000 to unlock. So like this one, um, my skill plate unlocked before the final one. So I only have a three set bonus and to get that four set is another 24,000 parts. Almost there. Um, and this is the next one I'm gonna do. This is gonna go on my dude love and I will put the boss skill plate on dude love. Um, so that um, I think covers that part pretty okay. My kitten is saying hello. Um, so there's a bunch of different bonuses you can get on straps. You have your standard um, gem defense, um, gem damage, move defense, move damage, hit points. Um, you also uh, have some special ones like this anti-bleed one. Uh, right here which gives you bleed immunity and there's also a stun immunity one I don't have one of those to show you um, and there are also some open uh, class and eras so like this one you can equip to any WCW character um, there's also an open zombie one you can equip to any zombie and then um, uh, there's some legendaries that are open or legendary and you can equip to any legend so there are some open straps too um, and back to skill plates if you want to remove a skill plate it costs you 10 um, of the special skill plate parts which refresh every month um, and you get 10 a month so you can do it once a month so you can see I have six days and 14 hours before I can remove this one if you have the strap up pass you get 10 extra a month so you can remove uh, two um, I don't always have the strap up pass and as a note um, if you buy the strap up pass in the middle of the month which I did this case because I wanted to move plates around and do an extra one. Uh, it did not give me that extra 10, so you don't get that extra 10 until it refreshes. So that's probably good to know as well. Um, but Strap Up Pass also helps with leveling up your metals, so I generally don't keep it all the time. I will keep it for the month and then not use it for a while and stock up on um, parts and, and bits and stuff and then do a bunch of upgrading on the next month uh, that I get it uh, so that's kind of the way I've tried to do it with how much I'll be probably moving plates around the next little bit because starting to get more maybe I'll keep it statically just to be able to move an extra plate around um, but you know 
that's not really important. Um, also, it takes because it takes so many strap parts to unlock uh, a strap, and we all love how expeditions now um, are mostly, it seems like, strap expeditions. Highly recommend buying uh, all of the common ones that come in. They're the most efficient way of leveling up your, your straps. It's the lowest cost of Expo coins to strap parts. Buy all the commons you can and sell them. It does take a little bit of time, but it is worth it. Um, I'll actually buy some of the other ones too when I have a spare amount of Expo coins. So, so really, that's kind of it for the strap guide part of it. Um, get them, use them, put them on your best character that you use all the time. Level that one up first and then move to your next ones. Uh, if you don't have one for your best one, just level up ones on guys you know you're going to use that you're going to use often or just save your parts until you get one for one of your your top guys because you probably won't have an excess and they're they're highly expensive to to level up so really um, start using your straps start using your metals I'll do another I'll do a metal guide really soon to go along with this one um, they will help a ton and the metal guide will kinda show a little bit better just how useful straps are um, this one we haven't really talked about how much of an edge straps can can give you the metal guide will definitely do that um, once we get into their bonuses and all of that stuff so I hope you guys found this helpful um, let me know what you think in the comments um, hit me up in game in discord join my server it's open to anyone uh, I appreciate you guys support have a good day